Greetings fellow gaming fans, this is Small Archangel. Welcome back to the Solus Project full playthrough. Uh, it is the eighth day. We've survived for eight days and uh, we've just come back from High Point. Our comms tower is still not even quite half finished and there are a lot of secrets I have not found. In fact, I think I found about six or something out of a possible silly amount so uh, yeah we're not doing brilliantly from a point of view of full completion but when I you know intend to do a full playthrough I didn't really intend to finish absolutely everything and do absolutely everything I'm not intending for this series to go on forever and a day um, so yeah I'm missing stuff I know I am uh, this is the kind of game where probably I would manage to uh, do rather better second time around um, right, we're going to need to eat something in a sec, but I'm just going to fill this bottle first. Oh, or I'm going to drop it on the ground. I can't believe I still do that. There we go. Okay. So we're okay for water, but I need to eat some food. We probably have a camp coming up just over there, but I do have some of this as well. And I've dropped it on the floor. I think some other game has been messing with my head. Oh my word! Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Okay, did we come through here in the first instance? I'm not quite sure, but our forward vector is somewhere up ahead and over there. Ah, now! I see what's happened here. So, in the last episode, we set off the mill and the mill has drained the acid out of here which means that we are now able to look around down here because this was kind of full of goopy stuff that I was quite right was deadly before and in case you're in any doubt as to how deadly it was this dude here is pretty much demonstrating what would have happened to us had we gone in it I think this is all just rock I don't know if there's anything down here that we could discover now we've drained it. I don't think secrets are ever hidden anywhere quite that easy, are they? Yeah, you can see the pipes here that presumably have allowed it to be pumped out. Where it's pumped it to, I don't know. We may or may not find that out at some point. There may be something up there, but I'm not sure. I'm just going to follow our forward vector for the time being. Do with getting some food from this campsite anyway. And it looks like we're going to have to go top side again. Now have we have we got this perk? Dry faster. Okay, I don't remember that. Have we seen this? Perished court. No, I don't believe we've ever been to the perished court before. I'm assuming that we couldn't get here before. Okay, yeah, I have not seen this before. Let's see if we can find anything in these chests. No. There's one of those. There we go. Pick that up. It's good for healing. Sorry, little thing. Didn't mean to start the year. Nope. And no. It makes some alarm alarming noises, those things. Okay, recipe. One urchin, one bowl of water. Shells from the sky ones. Candle. Cut piece of the urchin. Softening water, fill the shells. Seal two shells using a candle. Okay. These are urchins, obviously. These are dead urchins. Oh my word! 
That's what this is. Now, one of these things is scared every time I turn up. I keep eating them. And I never even realised. We didn't know what we were eating, did we? Well, we do now. And this looks like it's urchin goop as well. Is this what the aliens le lived off? It looks like it. Let's just get the other torch, shall we? And what is this? Relic of night. Resistance to hypersermia. Get in. We'll have that. Inventory full. Of course it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna light the I was here candle. I don't know if there's anything up there. Doesn't really look like it. Anything down here? No, apart from the fact that I probably now can't get back up again. Okay, I can. Wow, I can't half jump. Sorry, little urchin. Now, what is this? But where are the man traps? Let's just inch around those. Got some more of this yellow sort of trail stuff that we keep finding around. Which maybe has been left by our alien friend, I don't know. And what does this say? Passage to the centre. Uh oh. Yeah, great. So that's the thing. We have to go up there, probably, and there's a load of hanging dead things, and... And it's kicking off out there. A ladder to the central passage is access only permitted when the acid persists no longer. Well, we kind of got shot of some acid, right? Do we have to get rid of any more? What's this massive ball, anyway? Sky ones are very keen on their balls. I'm guessing it's got something to do with them. That gateway, can we open that somehow? Probably. But who knows how. Actually, that doesn't look like a gateway. That just looks like something to taunt me. I dare say there's something valuable back there, which... I may or may not be able to get through. Okay, we can hop through that. These guys are really scary. Look at that. Okay. Let's just have a look and see if there's... Oh, okay. Okay, that's not really leading to anywhere much, is it? gears and pipes and things but I don't think they're gonna let us get in there oh <laughs> but I suppose for a moment I'm gonna be able to throw my teleporter through there either am I not at all no can I throw it over the top, actually? <sighs> Looks like I should be able to, but... Only if I've got more height, I think. if I stand on top of these. Yes! Oh, 
Oh, yay. Okay, well, there may be something decent here. There may be something decent here, and there may not. Inventory full. Yes, Wilson. No. No. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, this time we'll just keep going forward. Although it's tricky because I never do want to go up steps ever so quickly. Wow, is this a massive tower or something? Okay. I have no idea where I am or what I'm looking at. Not sure that that has really got me anywhere. I've been here before. The proving grounds. To test those who claim to be worthy, the passages are to be survived for the artifacts to be returned. Uh oh. Artifacts. Well, this is going a little off piste. There's no artifact here. I have to go this way. Oh, now this does not... That isn't open. So we will have to get that open somehow. Is there some way of opening it in here? I can't get down. I don't know. Maybe there's some way of opening that in there. Maybe there isn't. Maybe it's somewhere else. Not sure. Maybe we have to go the other way. Well, that's where we were before, I think. The camp. Imminent dehydration. But of course, it's all five minutes since I last drank something. Of course, I'm going to die of dehydration. <sighs> right. Now, if I can get on. Okay, so. We'll run the gauntlet of the bombs again. Kaboom. Now I'm pretty sure... Ah yes, we can go this way. I don't know if there's anything down this way. Okay, is this the way we came in? No, but if I go in there, I'm not going, not going to be able to get back, am I? Not particularly easily. I hear the sound of machinery. Okay. So, the question is, are we going to... We're not going to be able to get back over there, are we? Because I don't think my teleporter... We only just managed it before by standing on top of something. So... Oh no, we can. Just about. And I'll chuck that down there just to make sure I don't injure myself. Okay. Alright, so... Guess we head on up. And hope that whatever killed these guys is going to do the same for us. We don't share their fate.
Wow, this is kind of a long way up. I guess we're going all the way to the surface then. Alright. Not sure where we are. Just watch out for those bomb droppers. chests. Will there be anything in it? And if there is, will I actually be able to pick it up? No and no would be my guess, but I kind of can't pass them unlooked at really. It's kind of compelling. Just in case. There is nothing. Oh no. Well I recognise... I recognise these kind of movable blocks. Yeah, this yellow stuff normally indicates do stuff! Okay. I hear a crackling noise now. Can I? Ah. That removes that, which presumably means that I can move that block now. But if I get off that. Oh no, it stays. Oh, terrific. I'm always so overjoyed to hear that, Wilson. Especially since it makes you even more loud than usual. for that amount of time. Quite honestly, you'd just turn it off, wouldn't you? I would. I would turn it off if I could. War-like. War. Civil war among the aliens or something? Not sure. Okay, so this obviously isn't going to come this way, so we're going to have to shove it and just face the music, whatever anomalous activity it is this time, behind this barrier. Uh-oh. Road. We know those footprints. We've seen a beast. They come from. There's some sort of screen thingy. Oh my, there's there's more than one screen thingy. It's like a cross between a TV and a toaster. It's a screen showing one of my crewmates on a cross. At least I think it's one of my crewmates, because it's wearing the uniform. Oh, this is terrific. So what, I'm being goaded here. And I'm following in the path of the beast. This is really... with hieroglyphs of... Um, well-armed aliens everywhere. Okay. More images of my dead crew members. This is lovely. Shortage of sleep. Do you know what? Under these circumstances, I'm not sure I possibly could sleep. But I guess we're going to have to pretty soon. Where did all these screens come from anyway? It does look like alien technology to me. And the noise is bugging me out. This is just an Adar Sun symbol. Yeah, we know about that. Right, well the footprints go that way, so I'm going this way. Not least because there might be something we need to look at here. Well, that's... That guy with the staff reminds me quite a lot of the alien that we keep seeing. And I'm pretty sure that he's probably appeared a couple of times and I haven't even seen him. Haven't even noticed him. Okay, so there's, there's nothing that way, so we're going to have to follow the beast. Shortage of sleep, yes, thank you, Wilson. And I dare say I'll be dehydrated in two minutes as well. There's 
just listening to some freaky ass noises going on. I don't like it. Lots of yes. Forward vector that way. Well, we kind of got to go this way, haven't we, really? Okay, there's a trap there as well. Dehydration. Yep, there we go. I knew I was going to get dehydrated as well. There we go. <sighs> Okay, let's see if this works better. Okay, we've been here before, judging by these chests. So if I just come round in a great big circle, I can't have done because, because I'm following these footprints and they're still going the same way. I think we've been here before, but not for quite a long time. And these screens have been put here since we last came. Yeah, we're retracing our steps, but we haven't been here for quite a long time, so that suggests to me that, yeah, we're definitely kind of being followed, and we're being, yeah, we're being <clears throat> hounded, I guess, and intimidated. Yeah. It's a long time since we were here. This was kind of right back at the beginning of our adventure, I think. Passage of the Travellers, yeah. And we've been now in every direction. But now our forward vector takes us this way, and I don't know what that says. Death to all that come this way, probably. Okay, well, as yeah, I've been this way before as well, actually, because I've been through there, haven't I? Because I got whatever artifact was there. And I'm just kind of hoping I don't catch up to the beast, because if we do, it's probably going to rip my head off. Okay, so here's a camp. This, despite the fact that the beast evidently passed this way, is a good place to get some sleep and finish the episode. So I'm gonna fill my empty bottles. And get some food and water. And then I'm going to get some shut eye. And then in the next episode, we'll continue to follow our way marker. Let's just save. Although sleeping will do that as well. I'm keen to save as soon as we can. And our, we're too warm here, actually. So I'll just move over here. Oh, that's three degrees. Okay, where's well, good? 22. Okay, I think probably 22 is okay. We're probably not going to be too hot there. There we go, 20 degrees. That's probably about right. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please let me know. Hit the like button. Also, if you've got any hints and tips for me, do let me know. But, as ever, no spoilers. Um, and I hope you'll join me for the next episode. Yes, Wilson, I'm going to get some sleep now. Glad I'm still not outside, I have to say. Uh, yeah, but I'm underground. Okay, so given that Wilson's telling me to sleep and then telling me not to sleep, I'm just going to tell her to shut up, quite honestly. And we're going to finish the episode. Sleep, for goodness sake. And I will see you guys in the next. Till then, keep gaming, stay happy. Bye-bye for now.